painful threshold. Painful threshold. threshold. Painful threshold. threshold. This is Matt Keeley from KittySneezes.com, and this is not the new episode of The Painful Threshold, but rather a bonus episode. Sometimes things might be a bit of a digression that don't quite fit into the show proper, but they're way too good to lose, and this is one of those bits. During the record of the show, our guest Madeline Drake asked our musical guest, William D. Drake, no relation, question about his days in cardiacs. His answer is presented here unedited. Our other panelist on the show is Rich Anderson, and the full episode three should be finished baking soon. I hope you enjoy this taste of what's to come as much as we did. <laughs> William, can I ask you, um, this is, you might want to edit this out, but didn't you make some sort of organ? Was it called the television organ? Or was that yeah. just a thing I saw? In the, I really wanted to know what that is. Right. Well, it's, can you tell um, me about that? Well... Um, there is information about it on the um, Cardiac website, which is, would probably explain it better than me. Okay. Um, but uh, I've got a few televisions. Old, I have to have a few old televisions in my attic um, from the 60s um, because it, they're the only thing that will work with this, this funny old sort of keyboard I've got. Um, it's, uh, I don't really know who, who made the keyboard itself because all the information about it seems to have been scratched, scratched off. Um, it's got a lovely sound. Have, have you heard the sound of it? Have you know, do you know what the, the actual sound is? Um, I'm not sure they do. What? Right. What? I haven't. I mean, she, she's not close at hand at the moment. I'd play you a few notes, but um, <laughs> you would you would recognise her. If Can you, you tell me what song it what, what song it appears on? And I'll go listen. Um, uh, um, too many irons in the fire. There's oh, okay. Oh. Uh, um. A bit like, bah, 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 Oh, I think I know um, what you mean, actually. Yeah. Um, in the beginning of Icing on the World, <coughs> there's a dum 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 That's, that's yeah. the organ. There's loads of it. Um, but it's not like any other sound. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just, it was one of those strange accidents, you know. But if I had yeah. been technical, I might never have got it working because uh, <laughs> him just told me I was completely fucking crazy he said what the fuck do you think you're doing you know <laughs> even something into a television <laughs> yeah, yeah it's always it's always intrigued me I, I, I just have this mental image of just a yeah you know like um, I don't know if, if you've seen the film Brazil yes mm. yeah. I imagine something looking like something from Brazil with like an old Television tube and yes, it's not a million miles away from that actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have to use old televisions. I've got um, five televisions up in the attic um, because I don't, you know, they will it will wear out eventually. So um, and I'd hate to, I can't use a later television to to get the sound from it. So yes. Uh, oh, that's amazing. So hopefully, it'll last longer than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. This is, yeah. Like, I, I, I don't think I'm cutting this. This is actually really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like extra, like extra material yeah. uh, bonus at bonus show or something. Episode three. Yeah, 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 yeah. If if it doesn't hit in the the episode proper, it will be on a, a supplemental. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I find that actually really fascinating. <laughs> yeah, painful <laughs> threshold after dark. <laughs> 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 I was going to quickly say I always felt sorry for Jim at, at the gigs because um, my keyboards, a lot of the keyboards wouldn't work before the um, before the gig, and there's always something going wrong. And, and Jim was the only one who's technically minded in the band, so he'd get his screwdriver out with a fag hanging out of his mouth, like there often, often was. And then he'd sort of um, he'd sort of unscrew everything, and then he'd take out all this confetti. And then he'd screw it back all together again, and then it would work. <laughs> <laughs> but that was his job. I mean, that was, he was the only one that seemed to be able to do that for some reason. <laughs> We'd all be in the club smoking and drinking, and, and he'd be sort of smoking, well, just unscrewing all these keyboards. And, and if amps went wrong, there was always something would go wrong in every single gig, and, and he'd always fix it. <laughs> you know, it's one of his memories. <laughs> And cars would always break down to gigs as well. The things were always breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Where, are, where were we? Okay, um, I, I think 
I think Rich is the only one who's actually answered the uh, the question so far, which is uh... kittysneezes.com in color.